Hey guys, got another ransomware video here for you. This one's a pretty quick and easy one, so I thought I'd quickly make it anyway. So as you can see, blocks the uh, windows out. You can't do anything from the desktop. We quickly reboot into safe mode with networking to see if we can remove it from there. Okay, so I've been tapping F8 on the keyboard to enter safe mode with networking. And uh, this will give us the options for the advanced boot options here. So what I want to do is go safe mode with networking. Let this boot up. Okay, so that's now booting in. Now some of these ransomwares can be pretty tricky to uh, remove, and some of them are very easy to remove. Now the easier ones, obviously, uh, as you can see, this one is now booting into safe mobile networking to stop you from getting in there. So, in this case, uh, you've got a couple of options open to you. We can try command prompt, which I will try now. Um, but you've also got these codes here that you can enter in. The trouble is there's so many of these coming out at a high rate of knots that it's hard to keep up. So I think the easiest way is just to get rid of them and delete them. Now you can use Kaspersky's bootable rescue CD and uh, boot in there. And they've got a nice little tool that removes these types of uh, ransoms. Okay, and I will make a video on that for you. So let's reboot the system. Okay, so I'm in tapping F8 on the keyboard again. Last chance saloon for this one, and we're going to go to safe mode with command prompt. Okay, so that's just booting into uh, safe mode with command prompt. Now, I have seen these types of ransoms running in safe mode with command prompt as well. Then you'd have to use live CDs or bootable uh, CD environments to get rid of them, okay? But some of them are just uh, pretty simple to remove like this one and uh, I'll show you that in a second okay so here we are I'm going to type here now explorer.exe this should load up the desktop here I'm going to close this box off now we don't need to worry about that and there's our culprit right there just close this box off and there it is there and what happens is people download these and they click on them and then they actually uh, start to run. Now some of them are pretty simple like this one which is just one file. Now some of them change the user init file and all these other types of things and start adding uh, files in locations like in your C drive, in your programs data and places like that uh, in the roaming folder. But this one doesn't seem to uh, do that. So what we're going to do is quickly reboot the system. Okay, so let's just reboot this up, and hopefully that will be the end of that culprit. Okay, we have our desktop back, and quick and easy to fix that one. Uh, it's only easy when you know how, but for for some people it may stump them for a while. But as you can see, it's just that one little file. When you click on it, it creates a load of havoc. So there you go. So don't be falling for those types of ransoms. There's always a way to get rid of them. Okay, I hope you enjoy these videos. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember, guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support and rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more videos again in the future. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again. Bye for now.